Hey guys, uh, Rock here, uh, July 13th, 2021. Um, I got this uh, <clears throat> 1996 Honda Foreman 400. Uh, just going to do a quick uh, walkthrough, um, show you around it, and then we'll take it for a test drive. And, and I'll give you my opinions, and you can see how it goes. <clears throat> so this, uh, yeah, like I said, 96. It's actually, for the year, it's in real nice shape. Um, it's obviously got a few few bumps and bruises, but, uh, I mean, for the year, it's expected, especially these Hondas. Um, so, you know, they get trail-ridden, but these things also get worked around the farm and whoever else uses them. Um, they are they're a proven engine, proven reliable machine, so... Um, they usually do get worked um, air cooled single cylinder um, this is a 400 uh, solid rear axle it's got two rear shocks in the back um, yeah so like I said I mean these are original tires I mean they're definitely seen better days but uh, that shows you that this doesn't have a ton of miles on it looks like an original seat due to uh you know it's still got the warning label and everything on um it, it has uh should probably been rolled or something because this was all broke up and they kind of welded it back together plastic welded it back together um in 96 all you could get was the foot shift like like this one so and this actually so it's a five speed see if I can zoom in but they consider it super low for first then it goes one through four so it's a five speed but they just basically they're telling you to run it in second gear unless you're pulling and uh we'll take it for a ride and I'll show you that this thing is really low geared <laughs> well, anyways let's hop on it <clears throat> all right so up on it it's actually so compared to like the the honda 450s the foreman 450s this sits lower this has 24 inch tires 11 inch rims so it's definitely a lower machine this one actually has a an inch and a half maybe two inch lift kit on it and it's still low but anyways pretty easy um you got a key switch it's got electric start. It's also got a backup recoil uh, pull cord. Um, over here, you get your light switch on, off, your high and low beam, engine kill, then your starter button choke when it's cold, but it's not cold now. So, as you can see, just turn it over. It doesn't take much, and this thing's running. A little low on fuel, but should be able to make it foot shift kick it up automatic clutch so all you do is just kick it up and shift it when it's ready <laughs> so we'll start off I'll show you let's get it back neutral this is first gear you know it's it crawls along um, it does have real good low end power um, for pulling and stuff for sure but uh for trail riding it is a little bit low geared but it can be done this is third we get in fourth and right there that's fifth gear <laughs> and uh, i'm not sure on the top speed on this thing i i mean it can't be too high uh, there's no speedometer or anything, but uh, I do got a GPS running on the GoPro camera, so when I take it down the road, I'll, I'll see what kind of uh, top speed it's got, and uh, then we'll know. I mean, it really shouldn't be too much different than the 450, um, but it does have smaller tires, so it is going to be lower geared. This thing runs very nice. It really does. 
Now it's uh, all time four wheel drive. You don't have a locking front differential, so it's it's an open differential, so it'll transfer the power to the the wheel that has no traction basically. So if you get up on three, it'll kind of spin. See right here, four wheel drive, but really only three tires are spinning. So it would be nice to have a locking differential. I understand Honda did not do that on a lot of their machines until recently, but uh, but it would be handy. So have to get a little run on it. Maybe more of a run. <laughs> this thing also doesn't have a lot of ground clear, so that hurts it. There we go. Surprisingly, I mean I'm I'm going slow, but. This does have less suspension travel than the Foreman 450. However, I don't know. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting bounced around pretty good now. I was going to say it rides just as good, if not smoother. So maybe the shocks are a little softer. That would make sense, I guess. But of your trail riding is going to be in fourth and fifth gear right now i'm in fifth and uh you know i'm just just cruising along not doing not giving it hardly any throttle but the rpms are you know they're where you want to be trail riding so Get through this crap hopefully that didn't uh mess the camera up but so and I'm actually really going to test the ground clearance down here because I got a rock pile that uh, <laughs> a lot of the machines uh, even even if you got 12 inches of ground clearance they still drag bottom so curious to see how this thing does especially with the 24 inch tires they're not aggressive at all but Now this is a machine with that, you know, super low gear. This is the first right here. Well, super low. Uh, it's definitely made to work. Um, whether you're pushing a plow, it's kind of slimy here. Yeah, this is the rock pile I was talking about. So most likely we're gonna drag bottom, hopefully. Hey, climbed it. So this thing's actually pretty narrow. So I was able to straddle those two rocks and uh, barely hit bottom, which was nice. I can't do that with a lot of the bigger machines. But if you just want to putt around your property or, you know, work, this is a real, real good machine for that, for sure. And I'm telling you, it will go. I don't, I'm not trying to say this is not a trail machine. It's just more work oriented a little hard to see through here I don't like that with the uh, old ground clearance but these Honda motors go forever this one's got a little chatter and it could be the valves but uh, I mean it just runs so good and you know, it will. You get it in neutral, you kind of pop the clutch. It'll pick the front tires up, so it does have good power. Whoa. <laughs> Lack in the suspension travel. So I think that's what it is. The shocks are a little softer on this 400 than the uh, 450s, but you have less suspension travel which is not great it's a little warm down there by my legs with the shorts on so 
I believe Honda come out with the first Foreman 450 in 95 so this would be the second year of this machine and uh, the um, 450 I believe came in 98 I could be wrong about that but they still offered the 400 then now I'm not sure in 96 if you could get a speedometer this one doesn't have one um, and I know the 95s didn't but I have seen some of the newer ones with an analog speedometer all the 400s had the analogs if they had a speedometer and your 450s had the electronic or digital speedometer so this uh, super low was actually really nice to to crawl down the hill I mean I gotta keep on the throttle just to, <laughs> just to go uh, we'll get going a little bit so we're coming down the road we'll get to hit the fast pace trail and see how this little 400 does and then once I come up the road I'll I'll stop accelerate the top speed I don't know if I'm gonna wind this thing out too much because it is low geared but we'll find out close anyways that's fifth gear right there and uh, you know I won't I don't know what we're doing uh, if my best guess would probably be 35 <laughs> but uh, I don't see the uh, GPS right now so have to look back at the footage and see it but but it does okay it really does much lug this thing in fifth gear anywhere you want to go. <laughs> Alright, get under here. We'll stop here, neutral, kick in first, and we'll see that top speed. I'm guessing 40, 42. <laughs> you can see how close the gears are to each other. That's it. That's wound right out, fifth gear. I'm not going to hold it there for too long, but uh, whatever that was is pretty, pretty darn close to top speed. Not overly impressive, but the low end torque, you know, that, that uh, kind of makes up for it on that end. It's not a speed demon, for sure. <laughs> I'll go one more time. See what we can get. Like I said it's really winding. Probably go a hair more than that, but I won't want to. But uh, yeah, so that was uh, that was a review. I'm just gonna go back to the house, and uh, that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll put them out there in case. You know, you're in the market for one. This thing is for sale, but uh, most of my machines are. But uh, just, you know, you kind of get a feel of what my opinions are on it and see how it goes. And, uh, and yeah, how it sounds and all that. So I got plenty more other videos on there of these things with, uh, you know, other brands and side-by-side -side snow machines. So check it out. Alright, thanks for watching.